mathematics for place value value reading and writing decimals numbers through hundreds good morning great first student this is teacher sam your teacher for the day today is another day to learn new concept in mathematics come on ready your paper and your pen and never forget yourself ready because we're about to explore the world of mathematics a. Read and write decimal numbers through hundreds and B. Identify the place value and value of a digit in a given decimal number through hundreds. Before we're going to begin with our lesson, let us first have an activity, which is called Find Your Match. Direction. Find the correct key of each leg by choosing the decimal form of the given fraction or vice versa. Now, we have here a picture puzzle. All you have to do is guess what picture is this. Very good, it is a hair. Did you know that according to study, an average hair tends to grow 1.5 cm per month? Now, let's look on the given decimal, which is 1.25 as 1 and 2500. The number 1.5 is a mixed decimals. Mixed decimals has a whole number part and decimal parts. Now let us place each digit of 1.2500 in a place value chart. As you can see, the place value chart, the whole number can be found before the decimal point or at the left side of the decimal point while the decimal part can be found after the decimal point. Let's have the place value and value of each underlying digit. We have the given number 1.25. Let's place it on our place value chart. On our first decimal, what do you think is the place value of the underlying digit? Very good, once. How about the value? Very good, one. On the second decimal, what do you think is the place value of the underlying digit? Very good, it is tens. How about the value? Very good. On the last decimal, what do you think is the place value? Very good, hundreds. How about the value? Very good, five hundred. Note that when we are writing the place value of a decimal number, it should end with EHS such as tens and hundreds. Now, how will you write the five tens and fifty hundreds in a decimal form? And how will you read 0 0.5 or 0 0.50 correctly? Now, let's us write the place value and value of each digit. For a given number is 0 0.5. 0 is under one place and 5 is in the five tens. Why? The location of 5 is in the tenths place. The number is read as 5 tenths and its value is 5. Another example is 0 0.50. What do you think is the place value of 0? Very good. It is under one space of whole number. How about the 5? Yes, the place value of 5 is in the tenth place. The location of 5 and the last 0 is in the hundreds place. It is read as 50 hundred. Hmm. We need to remember that we are looking for a place value. So it is the position of the number in a place value chart. For you to understand more about our lessons, let's first have an activity. You have to write the place value and value of each underlying digit. You only have one minute to answer this activity. Time's up! Now let us know the place value and value of each underlying digit. 
Did you came up with the same answers? Very good! Now, let us read the following decimals and write them in words. The first decimal is 0 0.56. It is read and written as 56 hundredths. The second decimal is 0 0.7. It is read as and written as 7 tenths. The last decimal digit is 2.98. It is read and written as 2 and 98 hundredths. Let's see how do we read and write numbers. To be able to read and write numbers, we shall place each digit of a given decimal number in a place value chart. First decimal is 0 0.56 or read as 56 hundredths. When reading a decimal number, read it like a whole number. Then see the place value of the last digit. The decimal number of 0 0.56 is read as 56 hundredths. Since the given is 56 and the place value of the last digit is in hundreds place. The second example is 0 0.7. Let's place it again in place value chart. Same procedure from the first. The decimal 0 0.7 is read as 7 tenths since 7 is in 10 place. And for the last example is 2.98. It is an example of mixed decimal number. The decimal point in a mixed decimal is read as N. The decimal 2.98 is read as 2 and 98 hundred. How do you write each group of words in decimals? For example, is 6 tenths. In order for this to write in decimal form, let's have a place value chart. Let us place 6 in a 10 place. Since we don't have any whole number, let us use 0 as a placeholder on one's place. So the decimal number is 0.6 or also read as 6 ten. The next example is 4 hundredths. Using the place value chart, let us write 4 in a hundredths place. Then we use 0 as a placeholder in a tenths place and in the ones place. So our decimal number is 0.04 or also read as 4 hundredths. For our next exercises, is you have to complete the table below by writing the word form or the decimal form. Time's up! What do you think is a decimal form of 0 0.3? Very good! It is 3 tenths. What do you think is a decimal form of 6 hundredths? Very good! It is 0 0.06. And lastly, what do you think is the word form of decimal 2.15? Very good! It is 2 and 15 hundred. It's quiz time! For our quiz today, you need to complete the table below. Find the place value and value of the underlying digit and create a word form of it. Your timer starts now! Time's up! What do you think? is the place value of the first decimal. Very good, it is hundreds. How about the value? Very good, it is two. How about the word form? Very good, it is two hundreds. Let's proceed to the second decimal, which is 7.9. What do you think is the place value? Very good, it is ones. What is the value of the underlying digit? Very good, it is seven. And its word form is 7 and 9 tenths. For our last decimal, what do you think is the place value of the underlying digit? Very good, it is tenths. How about its value? Very good, it is 3. So what do you think is the word form of 5.31? Very good, it is 5 and 31 hundredths. So that is all for today. Goodbye,